Hey guys, um, I have my camera backwards. Uh oh, hold on. I know, I thought I was done today, but then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show them my trifle real quick because I'm gonna flip you guys around. Nope, I'm gonna leave you there. I'll wait for some of you guys to get on anyway. All right, move you over here. Okay guys, so I'm making a trifle. Um, this is my go-to um, dessert when I'm in a pinch and I need something real quick. So I thought I'd show you guys how I make it. Um, wait for a few of you to get on there. Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm back. I wanted to show you guys a really quick trifle um, that I like to make when I'm in a pinch. Okay, everybody loves this stuff. So um, I get the Sara Lee family size pound cake and I'm just gonna slice it up. So this is just out of the freezer section. Um, I used to use Cool Whip for this recipe, but now that we have a whipped cream maker, I use that because duh, who doesn't like fresh whipped cream? So um, I already kind of made that, but I'll, I'll go over that in a second and um, I'll show you. I put it in the freezer just to keep it cold. And then this recipe is just four ingredients and that is it. It's super simple. Okay, so we're gonna use strawberries and blueberries today, but you can use any kind of fruit you want. I'm just slicing up a family size Sara Lee pound cake. My friends go crazy over this recipe, so um, I was in charge of, charge of dessert, so I'm making my favorite, favorite, and they all love it, so they'll be super stoked. And I'm using fresh whipped cream, so who doesn't want that? So I'm just chopping up my Sara Lee family size pound cake. One for me. Uh -huh. I know you guys, I, I normally, <laughs> I normally don't do this many videos, but I was like, mm, they're gonna wanna see this because I have a few tricks up my sleeve for this recipe. Okay, so the first trick, let's say you don't have a trifle ball. Let's talk about things that you can use instead of until you get one, or maybe you don't want one because you think you'll never use it. I will tell you, I have like four or five trifle bowls. I know, I'm a little crazy. But I'm gonna go get the one that's on my table right now that is always sitting on my dining room table in just a second. But I like to use, when I bring this recipe to a picnic or somebody's house, I like to use the ice bucket. Mm-hmm. I turned my phone around, so I'm a little backwards. Um, so yeah, no judging. This actually works great as a trifle ball, um, but the ice bucket is double walled, so it's really cool. And it's not as heavy, and I'm not freaking out if somebody drops it, but if I were to make one of these at my house, I would totally use the trifle ball. And let me show you what is in one of my trifle bowls right now. These are seashells from our trip to Hatteras a few years ago. So our trifle bowl sits on my dining room table all year long. And I love it. Okay, but, and then I have one for Christmas and I put like Christmas ornaments in it, super fun. But I like to use the ice bucket when I make a trifle and bring it to a friend's house or a pool party or whatever. So I cut up a Sara Lee Family size pound cake. You could get Edmonds if you want. I'm gonna put half the pound cake at the bottom. So trifles are just four ingredients, okay? So cake, cream, pudding, and fruit, right? That's it. So I'm putting half my Sara Lee pound cake down there. And then the cream is the, I used to use Cool Whip, but now we have our whipped cream maker. I started using our whipped cream maker for the cream, duh. And then the pudding, I like to use either French vanilla instant or um, they didn't have cheesecake today, which I was a little bummed about, but um, that right there. Uh, the cake, you can use chocolate cake, you can use brownies. I like to use the family size Sara Lee, okay? Because it's easy. This is like my super easy in a pinch dessert. So it's red, white, and blue. So I'm gonna add some fruit after I add half the cream. I mean, half the, half the pudding. So I made the pudding in our new kids bowl. Isn't it cute? I love this color. We came out with a whole kid li kids line. Those of you that have 
maybe been living under a rock for the last week. <laughs> um, we came out with a whole kids line. Get a spatula here. And the kids line is amazing. Pizza set and a kids baking set. So this is the bowl. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Okay, so I'm going to take half of our pudding. Really easy. I see some of you need the recipe. It's super simple. A box of pudding mix. Make it. It's just according to the box. It's like two cups of milk and pudding. And then let it um, go put it in the fridge for like five minutes. Uh, your cake, you're going to use either some pound cake or some brownies or some devil's food cake, whatever you have. And then your fruit is going to be any kind of fruit you want. I'm going to use blueberries and strawberries today because it's red, white, and blue. And then your cream. I just made one batch of our whipped cream in the whipped cream maker. So we're going to see if I need to make more. I'm going to use this whole thing of blueberries. I just rinsed them. Okay, and then we're going to layer it. So then there's that, and I'm going to put some cream. So I used to use Cool Whip, but now I'm using our fresh whipped cream in the whipped cream maker. So I'm just going to give us another pump. I already made it. I just wanted to keep it in the freezer for just a second. And of course, now I'm not going to be able to make, um, open it. <laughs> How are you guys? I don't know, I thought I'd be a little patriotic. I'm sure it's not like an actual, um, I don't know, summer to me screams red, white, and blue. So I just thought I'd do red, white, and blue today. Okay, let me try to open this now. I'm gonna use our little grippers here. There we go, that works. So open this up. I normally make this recipe with just um, strawberries, like a strawberry shortcake kind of thing, but I thought I'd add some blueberries today for just a different kind of, my whipped cream is not setting today, I don't know why, I'm sure I didn't whip it enough. Okay, so I'm going to add half of our cream, just going to pour it on there. Mm. When they scoop it out, it's one big yummy mess anyway, so... Okay, so there's our cream. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the cake. So yes, those of you that are joining us, I'm using our ice bucket. <laughs> I love this for pool parties because then I don't have to worry about it breaking or anything like that. All right, what's next? Our rest of our pudding. So we're gonna use the rest of our, I'm using French vanilla today. Super easy. Five minutes, let it sit in the fridge. Instant pudding mix. Okay, so our strawberries, I'm gonna cut them up. There we go. I might have my whipped cream maker too full, so I might try to whip that again. Live TV, huh? Hey guys, hey Noreen, are you guys going to the beach today? We're actually gonna go to the Yoshida's instead and go in the pool. But we're gonna go to the beach, but opt it out. Okay, so I'm gonna whip this. I might have had too much cream earlier. Get your workout. <laughs> Aw, thanks Jen. <laughs> This is like a cover-up, and then I got these shorts. Um, I got them when I was in Northern Virginia at Walmart. I mean, <laughs> I got them in black too. They were only $4. So the whipped cream is just um, heavy whipping cream, some powdered sugar, there we go. I must have had too much cream in it earlier. And just some um, vanilla, and it makes a delicious mm -hmm, cream. Okay, so for my strawberries, I used to use the egg slicer for this, but I love, love, love our quick slice. I'm going to show you this real quick. Haha, ha, quick for the quick slice. So the quick slice is just like an oversized egg uh, slicer, um, but you can use it for so many more things because it's a little bit stronger. These leaves in here are amazing. So I'm going to use our core and more and get that little piece out of the middle. 
You don't want to waste all your strawberry. Just get the little, oh, there we go. Just get that little piece out. And then we're going to line them up on our slicer here. I'm rushing a little bit, you guys, because I, we're always late. <laughs> I'm never late to a party. I'm late to everything else. I'm going to be late to my own funeral. Um, <laughs> but here we go. So I'll get there when I get there, right? As Bob says in spin class, spin class doesn't start until you get there, right? <laughs> or in our case, the party doesn't start until we get there. Okay. So there we go. Line them all up. I'm going to show you guys. So we're going to do five at one time. All right. Here we go. Can you see this? And then you just slice it down. See that? Perfect slices. I know, I think I had too much cream in it earlier. Okay, so we're gonna throw these strawberries right in here. I'm gonna do this a few times. But you guys can use any kind of fruit you want. You can use um, all strawberries, you could do raspberries and blueberries and I'm sure you can make an orange one with like orange, mandarin oranges. That's probably delicious. But my friends love, love, love this trifle. I normally just do all strawberries, but I thought the blueberries were on sale, so why not do red, white, and blue? It's kind of festive, maybe? Sure. End of summer, not really, but kind of the official, unofficial. Okay, so this is great for your salads. You can use it for cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, celery. I use it on chicken breast. You can make strips of chicken or you can use it for cheese. Um, slice all your stuff at once. Super simple. And they're all uniform. Isn't that fun? And then the last thing we're going to add to this is just the rest of that cream. And then I have a little kind of secret with mine. I, from Pampered Chef, and this is probably bad, but Pampered Chef a few years ago, <laughs> we sold these lemon sprinkles. I don't know if you guys ever um, saw these. Those of you that have been Pampered Chef for a while, here we go. Um, we <laughs> used to sell these, and I'm sure these are, these only are supposed to last a year, but let me tell you something, sugar in my house, I mean, it's still fine. It still tastes fine. Um, <laughs> I'm not like serving this to people I don't know, so they'll be fine. Um, but I like to sprinkle mine with some sugar, uh, those, those, uh, lemon sprinkles. So we're going to put the rest of this cream on top. You could totally get fancy and put this in our new decorating bag set. Um, but I'm just going to throw this all on top. And then our ice bucket comes with a lid, so it's super easy to transport. It's light. Um, don't get me wrong, I love, love, love our trifle bowl, and I use it for so many things, but in the summertime, I really like to use it for my trifles. All right. Oh my goodness, look at that yumminess. Oh my gosh, they're going to be so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat this cream right here. So this cream was, uh, uh-huh, delicious. Um, it is just powdered sugar, some heavy whipping cream, and some vanilla. That is it. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle my little secret on top. It's so yummy and fun. But I have to be, like, super careful because it's not going to last me forever. Anyway, this is our trifle um, in our ice bucket. So I have pound cake. Pudding, blueberries, cream, more pudding, oh, pound cake and pudding, strawberries, and then more cream and my little lemon sprinkles. I'm sure you can find something at the store. Um, but I like to make mine in my trifle, I'm um, sorry, my ice bucket. And then there's the lid. So now this is all ready for our pool party. So fun. Okay, guys, so I, I'm sorry for another video, but I wanted to do that one really quick um, because that trifle is so simple. You can switch out the ingredients. Um, hey, Carrie. Hey, Brian. Are you going to the pool today? Um, you can switch out any of the ingredients to make it different. Um, you can make chocolate cool whip or chocolate whipped cream, almond whipped cream, uh, put some Baileys in your whipped cream, <laughs> whatever you want. But um, I hope you guys have a great Labor Day. I'll talk to you soon.
拜。